My name is Patrick Ho. I'm a senior artist. I'm responsible for concept art, modeling, and texturing. Today we're doing a concept paint over for the player respawn tube for Planetside 2. The player respawn tube is where players are rematerialized after confirmed KAA status through the use of nanite rebirthing technology. Cool stuff. The model for this concept was originally created in Maya 2012. Then I do a paint over in Photoshop CS3. I start with a rough sketch over the surface of the model and I'm thinking about surface details that aren't only aesthetically pleasing but also serve as a purpose or function that support what this machine is and does. Once I have something I like, I screen back the rough drawing and go back over it with clean line art on another layer and solidify the designs. I usually work in multiple layers. The groundwork we put into the original Planetside established the foundation for much of the look and feel of Planetside 2. There's usually a lot of back and forth cleaning up things. The look for the player respawn tube in Planetside 2 is going to reflect a lot of what's going on uh, with similar design ele elements that this respawn tube will be placed in. So we're talking about a lot of uh, hard edges and angles and a lot of clean surfaces in this particular example. Once I've gotten a solid line work for the design, I'll begin shading. With the shaded render as a base, I start laying in some stronger shadows and highlight details. I work in multiple layers. I like to use a combination of the airbrush tool, gradient tool, and line tool. I'm working in grayscale at the moment, but we'll add color later. The shaded render serves as a base for the light and shadows, and the vector render is used as an easier and faster way to maintain certain details, as well as make quick selections in Photoshop. The line art also serves another purpose. It'll serve as shadow areas for a lot of the detailed paneling that goes into the player respawn tube. You'll see that I'm also adding highlights with the pen tool that'll give uh, a lot of that paneling uh, pop and dimension. For the most part, we're given a fair amount of liberties when we're doing concepts. After laying in most of the details shading, I start to add various textures to add extra surface details. These help describe what the, pro what the object is made out of such as the metal grading and the brushed metal, etc. Some of the textures I already have, while others I have to make from scratch. The textures need to be moved and tweaked so that they fit the angle of the corresponding surfaces appropriately. In the end, I'll use a variety of layer filters in Photoshop to blend the textures with the shading underneath. Planet Side 2, uh, obviously it's a, the next generation, so we want things to be more elaborate and more high-tech, so we're looking at uh, greater details, higher res textures, a lot of layering, with a lot of extra effects. In this instance, I'm adding some details to the side that kind of represent an area that might be moving. So we're gonna add some gear-like details. As a concept artist, it's always cool to see your creations come to life. Even seeing something as simple as a small pillar animating up and down is, is pretty cool. I'm also going to add uh, a grading to the to the base of the spawn tube where the player's standing. Here I'm trying out different gradients for the shield. They're grayscale at the moment, but we'll be adding color to finalize the effect. Once I'm done with the shading portion, we go over colors, and in this instance, we're looking at uh, working with warm and cool colors for the metal and uh, a tertiary color for the energy color which also represents the player factions. For Planet Side 2 we took the origins of the factions, buildings and environments and reimagined them with today's technology. The details on the shield will also be referenced for our effects team. And in this instance we're going to be adding uh, things like the effects, which means the, the glow and sort of like the neon that's uh, surrounding a lot of the panels as well as the shield and its effects. The shield and the neon highlights are blue at the moment, but the color will change depending on which faction is actually in possession of the respawn tube in-game. To add finishing touches, I add sharper highlights to the edges and reflected light from the, from the neon and the shield.
Once the main concept is finished, I usually drop in a shadow to ground the object and a background color for presentation. And there you have it, the final concept for the player respawn tube for Planetside 2. I can't wait for you to see the final result in game. For Planetside 2 and Sony Online Entertainment, this has been senior artist Patrick Ho. Thanks for watching. Also, for more information, check out planetside2.com. Sony.